Hello everyone, it's Panda. So I end up using Allah's money to get this hostel that I'm staying in at. Guys, this here is called the Swedish House Hostel. Already, I'm going to tell you bad things about it already. One, the manager or the woman that owns this place, Chinese, she's very rude, very disrespectful over the phone. I tried to inform her, technically you're not supposed to take a picture of a passport. Because your hostel is not qualified to handle that paperwork and you're not supposed to be... She said, we only do it for uh, some type of legal purposes and whatever. And I said, do you have proof of that? Because I don't see any legal papers on your wall. So when I first came up, the driver dropped me off. And then I had to call this number to be let in. Apparently, this is an old man that works here. And I asked him, where are the young people helping you? He's old, guys. Literally, he can, like, literally, like, seriously, guys, he can literally be your father. I don't like, I don't like when old people are being used. That's my thing. So, address is 570. Here's my credential badge. I showed her that. I also sh let her know, you need to call the embassy because, uh, or a counselor or something, because you seem like not like foreigners at all. You just want American people staying at this hostel. And they asked me for identification. So I said, you even have a choice. You can take the French or you can take the U.S. passport. The guy took the U.S. passport because he said it was easier to process. But what I was not expecting from him to take a picture of the passport and the money that was in it. Anyways, on the phone with the woman, She's being very threatened, very hostile. I report this to Hotels.com. They don't like it either. That's right. Hotels.com said they're going to get to the bottom line of that. Because, let me tell you guys something. For a hostel to charge a $75, again, this is, <laughs> this is supposed to be a hostel, not a hotel. But it's called Swedish House Hotel. But anyway, I'm confused about that too. They charge a $75 security deposit to stay there. She threatened me and said, if you don't pay, go leave. I take your money and leave. That's all you know is about taking people money and leave. This is how you talk to the community. Mind you, you, don't, you should be careful who walks through your door. I try to identify myself and let them know. You guys, you know me. I'm very transparent. I try to identify myself to her. And she refused to listen. And apparently, I guess since I'm black, they don't take it seriously. Well, in the morning, they will when the immigration show up in here and ask questions. Because they're going to, because we had this discussion already tonight. They don't like how, they didn't like the fact this woman refused to service me. So, with that said, everyone, it's not a good hostel to stay at or hotel. It's already a dirty hotel, by the way. Let's go back. Let me show you why it's not a very... You know what? If you guys want to see it, fine. Where did you see my room? It doesn't look proper. Now, the bed might look clean, but there's still, like, burnt stains and, like... Again, another hostel, another establishment not cleaning the sheets properly. Bad sign. Second... At the documentarian, and as someone, she was, she was going to deny me service for no reason. Isn't that great? So, I called everyone I know to report her because she's breaking laws here in the state of California. At this, at this uh, hostel or hotel. I just got one night. It was 50 bucks plus the central dollar charge. So, yeah, what she is doing, it's technically, Hotels.com told me what she's doing is technically not legal. They were, she was supposed to update to Hotels.com and to inform them that if clients or guests book a room here, they need to know everything they need to know about this place, including deposit fees. He tells me they don't have to report that. Yes, you do. You have to. So, with that said,
I will be going to, to see the adjudicator at the embassy tomorrow. And they are not happy. <laughs> they are not. They are serious right now. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the room. Yeah, it's decent, but this is staying there, this is staying there, this is staying there, staying there, staying there. You can see it. I don't need to camouflage or sugarcoat it. You can see the stains. Yeah. You can see right there on the pillow. But look at the wall. Look at the window, like someone set a fire. It's decent, but definitely not $75. It's not worth $75 security charge. So we are going to take a trip to my Japanese friend's place down the street. They own that restaurant. They don't know I'm here. I'm going to surprise them. If they still open. But I don't recommend this hotel or whatever they want to call it, hostel. <laughs> I don't recommend it. And I never will ever stay here ever again. So take that with a grain of salt. So you can either... And here's another thing. The owner, mind you, was actually for cash. I told him, no, 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 no. Everything must be QR scan, QR codes. Listen to California regulations. If you have to deal with cash, fine. But if you are a hotel establishment, everything should be electronic by credit card. Why are you asking me to go to the ATM to get cash instead of using my card? That's suspicious too. Don't you guys agree? That's suspicious to tell me to go get cash from an ATM. Mind you that I have City Bank of Japan. I get charged three, four dollars ATM fees. That's why I don't go to ATMs. So, yeah, I thought that was strange that he acts like it's strange. Point blank. It's just strange. So, I think. The whole $75 charge for that room is ridiculous. What what damage? There's, there's already damage to the room. So what damage are you thinking I'm going to cause? The, da the room looks terrifyingly dangerous damage. It's damaged. The walls, the holes. But yet, I just think that was uh, a very interesting experience dealing with these people. Even though it's fifty dollars, and then they try to charge me seventy. Here's another thing: the guy tried to charge me seventy-five dollars when I told him, "Wait, wait, wait! I told you from the very beginning, I had a reservation on Hotels.com. Were you listening? You tried to charge my card seventy-five dollars. That's why I declined because you were trying to, you were trying to scam me seventy-five dollars without even listening. Yeah, so." He tried to charge me $75 for the day. I said, nope, I got this from Hotels.com. It's already paid for. I have a reservation. You're not supposed to charge me. He's going to charge me $75 and $75 more. Isn't that something? So with that said, I am disappointed at this hostage's behavior. And then again, it's in a very bad neighborhood. And as I told the woman on the phone, ma'am, you realize I can actually have you cited right now for what you're just, what you're doing. I can have re federal regular, federal employees coming in your establishment and close you down, shut you down. You're, you're trying to, basically, you're bribing me and threatening me if you don't have your way. Ma'am, you, have you ever heard, please listen to the customer? Please listen to what she, we, he or she has to say? But did they? No. They kept interrupting and interrupting and interrupting. Why she was interrupting? Because she was, she was agitated by my professionalism. Because I wouldn't speak low to her. I wouldn't yell my voice. And then she was like, oh, he's yelling his voice. Kick him out. And all three of us, even including the guy, oh, look at that. 
That's a, this is a nice hotel. Is, is, this, is this a hotel? Yeah, it is a hotel. I should have stayed here. That looks clean. Now, that's a hotel. <laughs> but anyway, we all three would feel like, look, stand at the phone, me, the black guy, and the old man. He's a nice old, he's a kind of nice old man. He was confused about my, my parents, but. Uh, but yet, he was like, he's not yelling at you. He's just trying to tell you that his bank refused to give us a $75 charge because Citibank doesn't like that. My bank doesn't like it. When you try to charge another charge on top of the charge that you already have charged, they see that as suspicious. So I tried to tell them that. This is why you're being declined. So I called the bank. Lucky for me, it's morning over there. And they said, oh yeah, we can reverse the charge for you. Cool. So with that said, I didn't bring my handle. I forgot it. But, yeah, be back in San Francisco. <laughs> But that was a really bad experience hotel. Don't ever stay there at the Swedish House Hotel. Don't ever stay there. Guys, please, I digress. Do not stay there. It's the worst hostel in hotel establishment in the San Francisco area, by far. $75 charge for a room that looks like it was set on fire. <laughs> Someone had a fight in there. You want to charge me $75 for that room? Right, and it quite accused me for the damages too. And what, anyway, guys, thank you, Allah. Thank you, Shemit, for the donations for the hostel. I appreciate it. I tried to tell her, it's not my money you're dealing with. See? With that said, peace.